Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. We do a lot of fun stuff on this channel, but let's learn something practical. And this could be one of the most practical knots you'll ever learn. It's a very handy knot that is great for tying things up like a rolled up blanket, the top of a sack, or even a bundle of sticks. And it's got many other applications. To tie this knot, we're first gonna tie a stopper knot, an overhand knot at the end of our rope or paracord. Make an overhand loop, and then pass the end through and pull tight. From there, we're going to tie a slip knot by making an underhand loop. Then with the standing end, I'm going to pass the bite through the back of the loop to the front. Then pull and cinch the knot shut. Now to show you how to use this knot, I've got a rolled up blanket here, and I'm going to loop the slip knot around the blanket like so. And first, I'm going to cinch the loop shut so it's somewhat tight around the blanket. Now if you look closely here, there's some space between my stopper knot and the slip knot. I'm then going to grab my standing end, or the longer end, and I'm going to pull that end to the left or towards the direction of my stopper knot. And after applying some tension, the slip knot will move and jam up against the stopper knot. You'll notice that you can pull on the long end and really get a lot of tension down on the knot. Now to release, you simply pull on the shorter stopper knot end, and pull it to the right and the knot will release and the loop will open up. Now if you want to tie the knot around the object, you can wrap the paracord around the blanket with the stopper knot already tied of course. Then tie the slip knot around the opposite cord using the stopper knot end. Then once again you can tension it like before. So that is the knot and as you can see it's really easy to tie, can be tensioned very well, and is easy to untie. And as mentioned there are many uses, you can tie up a bunch of sticks, tie up the top of a sack, or even use the knot as an emergency tourniquet. Now why is it called a Canadian jam knot? Well perhaps it was created by a Canadian and they created this knot that jams. Now if you do know why it's called that though, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Either way, this is a very versatile knot that can be used for a large number of applications. So I would keep this one in your back pocket for sure. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. I want to thank you all for watching and a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. If you want access to exclusive content and the Weavers of Eternity Discord, want to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.